sound guy. Well, yeah, we're assuming they care about us in one scene. Not <laughs> People watch the show for the mugs. Right. Because you know you're a real talk show when you, you have, have mugs. mugs. That's how it is, guys. I believe they call that mug legitimization. Let's start the show. Welcome to Onesie Chats. That's right, guys. It is the only show in the entire world where Justin and I wear onesies and chat. Uh, we want to introduce you guys to our crew also. Uh, we've got Adam on the camera. Adam, come here. Adam. 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 Adam, look at the peep. There. Yeah. We got Leroy on the sound. Put your boom in. Uh, oh, I want to touch his boom. Touch his boom. Oh, yeah. And now for our next segment, Magic, Magic Hat. Hat. All right. Now, basically what we do for Magic Hat, you can move now. Okay. Now, basically what we do for Magic Hat, it, it, yeah. Okay. Other than the topics that we each put in ourselves, we have no idea what the other topics were. And also, we gave very little guidelines as to what type of topics to be put in the hat. Zero. You want to go first? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dating apps. Uh, have you used them before? I have actually. <laughs> hmm. Uh, it was called Scout. So you didn't even need to swipe on anyone. It was just like a endless stream of thumbnails of, of people, mostly girls, <laughs> who were near you. And then what happened? For purely friendly dating reasons. What's a friendly dating reason? What's a non-friendly dating reason? Holding hands. Yeah, I've used Tinder before. You did use Tinder? I used it once when I was in Taiwan, met up with like a backpacker and nice. bought her some beer because she was a poor backpacker. Nice. What about Penang? Oh, good question. What I didn't did use Tinder Penang. Uh, Justin oh, didn't no, I didn't Tinder go on a date. Penang. We were on Tinder Penang because Adam, love Adam knows. forced me to. But we never met up anybody on Tinder. You, Which is a good thing for you because you're married with a child. Uh oh, the girl there? what is the story we're hearing? Justin oh, but she was at the wedding we were Justin at. Met, you met a girl at the wedding you were at on Tinder? You're no. making this scene. Life before mobile phones? I think it's super interesting because nobody is on time anymore. Before they existed, when you made plans to meet somebody, you better be on time. Because if you didn't show up at that exact time, they're gonna think you're dead or missing or that. In, in trouble. But now, it doesn't matter. You can be like an hour late and just call and be like, hey, I'm up. On my way. You didn't know who was calling you. Oh, that's right. You and like, Hello, you had to have all the phone numbers memorized in your head. And next up on our show, we have a very special guest. She is Miss Singapore Universe 2015. And she will also be on the reality show The Apartment, which airs on AXN in March, I believe. Give it up for it, Lisa Marie White. Yay! Hello, Lisa. Yay. Have a seat. Thank you for having me. No, it's, it's honestly our honor. Yes, it yeah. is. No, I know you just got done filming The Apartment, a season of The Apartment, right? Yes, I did, that Justin was on. That's right. I am an apartment alumnus. <laughs> right. I remember, I had a blast being on that show. Did you have a good time? Yeah, so did I. There was a lot of drama, though. That happens. Lisa was also Miss Singapore Universe 2015, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. What was the craziest thing that happened while being on Miss Universe? When Steve Harvey announced the wrong winner. That's right! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I did that! That was for a year! <laughs> okay. It was actually Miss Philippines that won, so he announced Miss Columbia as a winner. And then she did that whole walk with the crown for about five minutes. And, she... and then he came up, he's like, sorry guys, but... I remember seeing the image, it was like, she, so the crown. she was like this, why did someone try to get the crown from her at one moment? She was like... <laughs> so Alan and I have to go to the HBO Asia anniversary party yes. on Friday. Basically what we're asking is, can you set us up on blind dates? What do you got, Lisa? We need names. <laughs> names? Let's do this. So she doesn't want any of her friends to go on a date with us. Wow, nobody that you know would go on a date with us. No. I think that this is a very telling no, 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 situation, no, no, no. Justin. Listen, they're all attached or they don't live in Singapore. Do any of them have like an open relationship? I'm not interested in that situation, by the way. It's just a date. It's open. It's just, it's a, just date. a date. I really only think in every open relationship, like one person really wants it and one person was forced into it. Lisa, have you ever been in an open relationship? Uh, yeah. And whose idea was it? It was both. It was a mutual idea. Okay, so there but whose idea was it really? <laughs> Could have been mine, but I was very honest about it. Okay. I I would tell them things like, yeah, I'm dating you, but I'm also dating two other guys, just so you know. You don't use the word dating. Oh, so you never even get to You say, hey, level. we're not dating. If you start dating, then you're dating. When you label something, then there's an extra set of freaking expectations that okay. people expect to be met. But here's do you have a problem with expectations? I do if we're dating. Oh, you so expectations if you're not dating are fine. There, there aren't any because you're not dating. Okay, but here's the thing. The term dating means something different all around the world. Back in America, when like dating kind of meant that you maybe we're going on dates with a few different people, or like, yeah, yeah we're dating, true. it's not so serious. Yeah. But then I got her out here to Asia, and like, are we dating? 
And then it's like, whoa, dating means something totally different now. Now I feel like dating means like a serious relationship. I don't know, does it? Dating is when you you still keep your options open, I think, and then exclusively dating someone. I would venture to say that the mere act of labeling creates a certain psychology where somebody feels like there's a, something special going on there and there shouldn't be other people. But a lot of people get uncomfortable when there aren't like well-defined definitions yeah, of what we sure. are. So what you do is you say you keep people in a questionable gray area so they're not even sure what's that going on. There's, there's nothing wrong with questionable gray areas. Which is where this show lives. Life, life is a questionable gray uh, area. Onesie Chats is for sure a questionable gray area. It's, it's gray right now. Right now. And now for a segment we like to call Love oh. Letters for Alan and Justin. That's right, guys. Basically, our producers like to keep our spirits up, and they like to show us some of the really nice and lovely things that you guys say about us or say to us online via comments or messages or tweets or just like nice little thumbs up emojis. These two are not handsome or they're not my taste. I'm thinking we're just not your taste. Yeah, I'm gonna go with taste on And this taste one. is very subjective and it also changes with age. That's true. We might be your taste later. I got one right here. Alan is ugly and characterless. <laughs> Justin has an annoying voice tone. Oh, ouch. <clears throat> That's... That's... How do you feel about you being characterless? Uh, um, if anything, I felt like we would have too much character. Like, I would think that we would be annoying on TV. We might be. These two guys at present are not good looking. <laughs> at present, so we have a chance. I'm confused by the timestamp. <laughs> I'm wondering if he Maybe like <laughs> when we get to here, <laughs> we're gonna we'll, be great. we'll be really good looking. Yeah. Fucking disgrace to all humans, you piece of cunt at Alan and Alan. <laughs> and uh, that concludes our second <laughs> <at> love letter. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, we will see you guys next time on Onesie Chats. Thanks for having fun with us. Once again, we apologize for us. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> How can you make your life better right now? Tell them, Justin. Subscribe. Oh, it's gonna taste great. I love the taste of subscribe. It's probably my favorite flavor. I like it with sprinkles on top. Oh, subscription with sprinkles? Maybe some subscribe with whipped cream. Oh, I like that. Sometimes I add a little syrup to my subscribe. Oh, some honey and raisins on top oh, of my subscribe. Oh, dessert. You know, mm, mm, you know me? Mm, I'd wrap mm, that subscription mm. up in some tortillas and have some subscribe burritos. Oh my gosh. You want a subscribe burrito? Yeah. That's what I need in my life. And you do too. Subscribe.